Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a lip swatch video for you guys on the Wet n Wild Liquid Mega Last Liquid Cat Soup Matte Lipsticks. I have all the shades except for one. My right it only had 10 but when I was looking online there's a hot like a really hot pink one that I'm missing. So I do apologize but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to swatch these for you guys and I will let you guys know after the swatches which one of these I find to be patchy because there is a couple that is patchy and I'll kind of talk a little bit about the formula. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get into the swatches. I'll zoom you guys in so you can see a little bit better. And the first shade is Nudie Patootie and this one is by far my favorite. It's like a really pretty kind of beige color. shade is Nudist Peach. This next shade is Coral Corruption, which is my favorite shade of the entire collection. Pink really hard, which is this really pretty, like vibrant pink shade. The next shade is the shade Rebel Rose, which redness around my lips it's just they're starting to hurt this is the shade of gimme mocha which is also one of my favorite shades all right the next shade is the shade at berry recognize and This is Missy and Fierce. Next shade is a video of Vixen. I did just put just a little bit of uh, concealer on my lips and around my mouth. And I'm trying the last shade, which I haven't worn before, and this is the shade of Flame of the Game. The review. I actually have five that I like the formula of and five that I don't like the formula of, but I do like the color. So first off, the five that I find to be like really nice, they're opaque and they're not patchy are Nudie Patootie, Give Me Mocha, Rebel Rose, Missy and Fierce, and then Berry Recognized. These all have a thicker, I feel like, formula to them whereas the other five that are a little bit patchy has a little bit more of a thinner formula. I love all of these shades especially the red one it's really great. This does have more of a I feel like liquidy or consistency but it does it is not super liquidy which I do really like. Now these do dry down I'd say it takes them about a minute to a minute and a half but when they do dry down they are pretty drying I feel like. I definitely make sure that you exfoliate your lips and have lip, lip, lip mask on before you use these. Throughout the day I think they wear really nicely. I don't find that they crumble off. They can kind of sink into my lines though and accentuate them but almost all liquid lipsticks I've ever used do do that. These do dry down but they are transfer proof which is really great especially for a affordable option at the drugstore. These were $5 I think, $5.19 Rite Aid but all the time I see Wet n Wild for 30% off there so you never really I feel like have to pay the full price for these. Now the shades that I find a little bit patchy are the shades Nudist Peach, Video Vixen, Coral Corruption, Pink Really Hard and A Flame of the Game which is what I have on right now. Um, I love the shader here, Coral Corruption, and this one is a little bit more on the patchy side, but I have found the best way to work with this is to apply a lip liner underneath, and I don't run into that problem at all. 
or to apply this give it a second to kind of start getting like drying and then go back in with the second layer and it is really opaque the same thing works with all of these. I really love using the MAC lip liner in the shade Rebel with this one. It looks gorgeous. So as long as you have a lip liner similar to all of these to put underneath, I don't think that you're going to have an issue. But I did want to mention that they are a little bit on the patchy side. So if you're someone who that really bothers you, then you might um, want to skip out on these shades. But I think all the colors wear really nicely throughout the day. Again, I do feel like they are a little bit drying, but most liquid lipsticks I feel like are drying, at least on my lips anyways. These are definitely some of my favorites. I love the colors. I think they're so pretty. They're so unique. I love the packaging. It's really sleek. It's simple. And when wild, it's cruelty free, which is awesome. So yeah, like I said, I absolutely love these. Um, if there's any other liquid lipsticks you guys would like me to do some swatches of or review on, just let me know. I do have some bare mineral ones, the Gen Nude ones. I don't have the whole collection, but I think I have about half the collection. So if you guys would be interested in seeing that, just give this video a thumbs up. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching.